What's up guys, it's Paul of The Toy Scavenger. Thanks for viewing the video. I'm in my office today. So recently I decided to film my entire week so you can see what I get up to on a daily basis. And I picked a week where I, I knew I was doing a few little things. So we're gonna start this one on a Saturday with Duncan's Toy Porium, Toy Fair in Nedworth. It's toy show time, yeah. Now, if you follow me, you know that I've done this toy fair a few times before. There's even a few videos on the YouTube channel that you can check out. So today we're at Nedworth Village Hall and I'm stalling. So let's have a little look around and see what we can find. It's a nice little toy fair. There's about 30 stalls and you get some real good quality in that little mix. Right, I'm all set up. So it's taking me a good two hours, no, maybe an hour to set up. Here's the stall. Let's see how it goes. So I was selling and my aim was to film myself selling and have the day kind of planned out. But that just didn't happen because it got really busy in the morning so I couldn't even get the camera out to film. I just thought, ah, oh, do you know what? It's not worth me filming. I'm, I'm going to walk around and have a quick film so you guys can see what was there. <laughs> So my first pickup from Nedworth Toy Fair was this bag of Linkits. There we go. Anyone remember Linkits? Well, what I'll probably do is I'll probably build a few little men and then I'll chuck them into mystery boxes or chuck them into some customer boxes just for a little free gifts. They're one of those like little hits of nostalgia that when you see them you go, ah, I had them. You know, getting that hit of nostalgia. When you see those toys that you had as a kid and you completely forgot about, you get that rush of adrenaline, that little hit of nostalgia that really brightens up your day. So my next pickup at the Nedworth Toy Show was this, a boxed Manta. Now, as you know, I really like Mask. I have done a few videos on my collection. I need to do a few more videos on my collection so you can see how it's evolved over the over the years. Yeah, Manta is awesome. Manta is one of my favorites. This button here that you press and what happens is the wings pop out of the back. You had this bit pops out, pops up like that. The wheels at the front spin around as well. The front pops down. Look at that, that is so good. That is iconic. But of course, this was the first female figure that Mask brought out because they were planning on doing Gloria Baker, but they didn't think it was gonna sell very well. So when the racing series or the second series came out, they decided to put Vanessa Warfield into this one who was the first female Mask character in toy form. And there she is, it's Vanessa Warfield, uh, looking great with her, but I like a little stripe on her red hair. And I've also got the mask that goes in this one, which is good because if you see this, it's nice and squishy because it's one of the main things that you need on a mask toy, be nice and squishy so that pops on there. Yeah, look at that, that looks awesome. So that was my two little pickups from Nedworth Toy Fair. So on the Sunday I had a day off because everyone needs a day off with the family, but Monday I had a really good pickup to go to. It was a four hour drive there and a four hour drive back. So if you know, I am located in London and I drove all the way up to York. Now I wouldn't normally drive that far. I would ask someone maybe to post it or I would get, get a courier to kind of do it. But I wanted to go see these ones myself because this collection was awesome. It basically was a collection of mask and action force. So once I got there, I met the guy and he was really nice. I didn't do any filming inside his house because I never do filming inside someone's house if they don't want to. This collection was great. It's in really good condition. And so he really looked after his toys. So a lot of it I've kind of gone through. I don't really need to clean too much, but I'm, I've got a few bits I need to fix and a few bits that I need to switch around. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a piece of that collection right now. So first up from that collection was Mask Thunder Hawk boxed. Look at that condition, absolutely perfect. Only issue is there's a rip there, not too bad, but also a good thing about this is it's got the inner, which is very, very important with mask and can change the price considerably. There he is, Thunderhawk and Matt Tracker. This one is a long mask version, so you do get short mask versions as well. And the main thing with this one is on the bottom, you've got both bombs because those bombs always go missing. Another key piece from that collection was 
a bunch of Centurions. And there's one, Jake Rockwell. He's played condition, moving around, you can see. But he's complete, uh, not broken, box is immaculate, really good. So a little bit of a clean inside, maybe connecting back up onto the back. And yeah, he'll be good to go. He is pretty much like mint in box. I don't really find many of them around in their boxes anymore. I did have about five Max Rays at one point because there was a, a find in China, but that was a good eight years ago. They've long gone now. So also in that lot, there was a load of Action Force made by Palatoy. I absolutely love these. I did like um, G.I. Joe as a kid, but I am i don't really collect them. So I'm gonna show you one of the big pieces that was in that collection. Oh, here we go, look at that. Action Force Headquarters. Now I'm not gonna get this out because it's got so many pieces, but it's like basically a cardboard background, very similar to the Death Star Star Wars made by Palatoy. I believe it's complete. There may be a couple of pieces missing. I'm gonna have to double check, but it's quite a nice piece, a good example as well. Really good condition. I'm really happy with this one. So after that very long drive on Monday, Tuesday, I needed a little bit of a break. So what I did was I packed up a lot of the toys uh, that were sold and then I, did a little bit of tidying in my office. So on Wednesday evening, we had a collection to go view. So we went to go and have a little look, did a tiny little bit of filming so you can see what was in there. With this deal, it was a case of taking a massive risk. Um, we would be clearing everything out um, and we gave a price that was actually very fair, but unfortunately we couldn't come to an agreement. So maybe one day we will, but this one at the moment, will stay where it is. So moving on to Thursday, I had switched around with my Tuesday because usually Tuesday is what I call content day. So content day is usually when I film videos and film like reels for Instagram or I do a little bit of um, art on Photoshop. I was so tired on the Tuesday, I had decided to switch that to the Thursday. And I had to do a few videos for some customers, which you'll see on my Instagram, but also, man, I just went to town on these ones. <laughs> Clever girl. I can't get the action right. So I got sent a real FX baby T-Rex. Look how cool that is. Look at that. That's sound effects. So you've got, you've got action up and down. Jaw. Eye. And eye. But you look at the detail. Look at the detail on that face there. Can you see it? Never get that close to the T-Rex before. Ooh. Okay, so I'm back in my normal hat black t-shirt. Every time I film these things, I put a black t-shirt on, my daughter comes running up to me and goes, or, or something. Just leaves marks on my t-shirts. <laughs> I try to get them off. I have to change my t-shirt constantly. So back in the hat, back in the black t-shirt now, and I'm on to the second reel that I'm doing. I was so happy when they actually said, oh, we're gonna send you this, do, do you wanna do it? And I was straight away, yes. My little boy wanted it, as soon as he saw one, and he played with it at, it was at the action figure launch, the turtles figure launch in the other video and he played with it and it was like the best thing and he's been asking me for one for ages and it was kind of going to be a Christmas present but obviously now I've got one so he will probably be able to play with this one and it is ugh, the turtle sewer place it like that it's like a boom box isn't it I love the mutants I mean that's the whole thing isn't it mutant mayhem I love the mutants they're so cool it's getting really heavy so I'm gonna put this down now so that's really what I've got to do on Thursday. I'll do the reels, start editing them. I've got to pack up everything that people have bought. So I'll do that a little bit later. There's not that much today. There's only about three parcels, which is quite easy, nice and quick. So every day I had parcels to pack up and a little bit of admin and accounts to do. One day I might even do a video on how the accounting works, but at the moment, not on this one. So on Friday, it was Comic-Con. Now it's half term, so I decided to take little man with me and he really enjoyed himself. He wanted to be a Ghostbuster and he really looked like Egon, to be honest, like a young Egon. He said, I want a proton pack. I went, I've got a proton pack for you. So I found an old Kenner proton pack, which he used to play with. He absolutely loves this thing. Shame it hasn't got the pipe anymore, 
but walking around Comic Con with that pipe, he would be hitting people left, right and centre and we don't want that. Every time we saw a chuck we were just trying to shoot it. So if you'll see any of the Comic Con, that video is actually on my YouTube channel and it will be at the end of this video. And that really kind of brings me around full circle to Saturday again. And that was my week. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this little week video and what I might do in the future is do a few more weeks so you can kind of see what I get up to. Remember you can follow me on Instagram, X, YouTube, Facebook, all at Toy Scavenger and you can buy lots of toys on thetoyscavenger.com. So I've been Paul the Toy Scavenger. Remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.